How's everybody doing? <clears throat> 350 here. Figured I'd make a quick video. Um, just wanted to show everybody how I set my ignition coils. Um, it's pretty easy. And I use the same method on Briggs and Stratton's, Tecumseh's, two-stroke weed whackers, or weed eaters. It all works the same. Um, here I've gone ahead and loosened up the coil, but as you can see the magnet on the flywheel, and you can tell where it is because the flywheel is thickest right here. So what I have to do is rotate the flywheel till that passes. I usually put it 180 degrees out. Coils loose, as you can see down there. I don't know if you can see that gap or not. But what I do is I get a business card or a playing card. I go ahead, slide that right down in there like so. Make sure you have enough on each side. Now, sometimes when you rotate the flywheel, the card's going to want to move. So I put my finger right here. Continue rotating the flywheel. It's a lot easier if you do this with the spark plug out. As you can hear, this one side caught, but this side didn't yet. So we'll keep rotating that. And you heard that thunk. I rotate it a little bit more. The magnet has drawn the coil in. And all I do from there, and I snug these up first. I want to snug, go ahead and tighten it. Don't want to over tighten it because you're torquing down into aluminum. And over here where the governor is, after you drop your tools and lose them, same thing. You go ahead and turn it. Once it gets stiff, like right there, done. Then go ahead and turn the flywheel out again. Pull the card out, and you're set. I'm going to go ahead and change the spark plug on this one and find out why it's not firing up. Uh, shut off on me, it's still got fuel. Uh, <laughs> uh, cracking the head.